Hello there everyone, this is Fedian007 and I bring you a replay of Company of Heroes 2. We'll, we are playing a 3v3. I'm playing as the OKW, Anarchy as the Wehrmacht and Kilo Priest as the OKW as well. We are facing uh, two Soviets and American. Le whatever... well what if? So, anyways, let me see their doctrines. Actually, never mind. Fr fucking hate this hunt. There we go, the good old stuff. So, you may see that it says sinker detected. I actually activated that thing so you can see the previous uh, uh, replays because there is this new patch, and I was really interested in recording this. I don't know how uh, I watched it uh, before and as far as I saw it didn't really affect the game so it went great let's speed up things a little bit till we get to the main action so Kilo Priest is of course moving this way Let's see, I went with Breakthrough, Kill Chris went with Roof Buffer, this guy went with Armored Company, alright. And of course, Doom Pioneers always beat everything in close quarters. You should have learned that a long time ago, my friend. So, this Orange Russian guy is gonna complain as far as I remember. Still didn't choose any doctrine. So Anarchy is moving to the middle. I did like this match because we actually pushed uh, the enemy like almost back till their base. Then they reclaimed it somehow. Then we counterattacked again and we pushed them back. But I was kind of happy that we finally won as the Axis. Because we, we played a lot of times as the Axis and we lost miserably because of the early game advantages which the Allies gained. Alright. Still didn't choose any doctors. So they're building up a munitions cache and another munitions cache? Yep. Don't get it, why? And this guy... Oh, sending engineers. Combat engineers. This guy sent a lot of combat engineers as well. Actually, what were they level? Okay, this guy... is kind of a noob. This guy ain't that much of a new and this guy whoa 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 all right this guy's a uh, different story but levels don't matter jack shit they just show you like how much experience do you have with the game and that ura failed but he set up his mg here which is pretty interesting but of course i was able to pull back Kill a priest is, as far as I see, he lost the victory point, he's now gaining it back. And the dude still led his MG here, but I decided to flank him like, and he moved it, alright. But he has another MG here. I don't think I have the, yeah, I don't have uh, the retreat point set up. So, Kill a Priest managed to take over the victory point. The enemy here, the Americans, set up a fighting position. And 
now a uh, massive blob is approaching. No, oh, Anarchy pushed up with his um, pioneers. And I was planning to take over these points as well, to deny them as much resources as possible. Kilo Priest is most likely will be pushed back from here because of that blob. Yeah, and then Vura. But they got pit pulled back here. Come on, come on, yes! Do not sacrifice a veteran Stone Pioneer squad. This side is pretty silent now. But this orange guy really doesn't want to give up. Which I like about him. Alright. But the thing is that he doesn't have the necessary numbers to push us completely back. And here comes one of his MGs. I Anarch is now counter motoring the motor. And then I saw the MG. Kilo Priest is getting back the victory point. Oh, his side was a complete clusterfuck. Now he's pulling back the MG, but now he got surrounded. And he lost the MG. Now this building is getting mortared by Anarchy's mortars. Very nice. And dead. Kilo Priest is trying to move forward to destroy that fighting position. Nice balance update, very nice. <sighs> yeah, this guy was complaining that the axes were still overpowered. He should shut the fuck up. When the Germans are powerful like hell. Oh, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. It is fair, you fucking asshole. You're an idiot. Yes, it is fair, you fucking shit. Exactly. Use them in the wrong way, you asshole. Fucking asshole. Then he's most likely a fucking nuke who's playing against AI. Well, it's not like I used to play against AI as well, but come on. Complaining that one German unit to map. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, it's true, the maps, sometimes they are really unfair. This Russian player, this Matsume or whatever, he didn't even choose a doctrine yet. And no shit, you're fucking against OKW. Plus, I am combining my forces. No, they didn't fuck it up, they made it good. Even though that when the bridge will be released, then it's going to be completely unfair. Fucking ridiculous guy. And now he decided to go up and fight off Kilo Priest. Yeah. What a coward. Uh, 
Pathetic coward. He he realized that he cannot win on the south. Now he went to the north. Pathetic. So that he could they could triple team. Back to Fox. Oh, oh. Well, not the best grenade. Ah, you lost your cool boy. 120? No, where are you? Oh, there it is. They are fools. They're now relying on the typical artillery and mortaring. Did he lose? Oh, his MG34 machine gun. They're trying to destroy his HQ. I think this was the one when I decided, like, all right, you're gonna do that, and I'm gonna move up and capture your fucking fuel. You won't get jack shit then. Look at that blob. I was surprised that Killbeast was able to pull this off. Triple team! Oh my goodness. Oh, nice Panzer Shrek. Nice grenade. And, and he says that it's unfair, and now they're triple teaming. They should realize by now that the that the allies have early game advantage. They have around middle game advantage as well. But then they will lose the late game advantage when the Axis will get their heavy tanks. And until then they will have a lot of veteran units as well then the allies will lose absolutely every single advantage they have. The only advantage they could get are massive numbers. See? See? You just fucking sent in your entire blob of conscripts. You thought that that would help? I had a Sturm officer prepared. Folks, grenadiers, covering here. Sending up Sturm pioneers here. Fucking asshole. He's trying to help out kill a priest to clear that position because it was a complete clusterfuck for him. Yeah, unfortunately you know, you lost your half track. Wait, how many units does kill a priest have? There's the Storm Pioneer squad. Oh he lost some units. I understand now. And now this guy's trying to assault. While this coward is coming in with a massive conscript blob. No, I had to pull back from that. They have freaking flame throwers. that I couldn't bring up my other units to deal with you. Be happy because your victory is just a minor victory. What about here? Kill Priest is holding out. Oh, I lost me Kubo. And now he thinks I'm such a great guy right now that I'm moving forward. That's right. Two squads. 
Well, I guess they didn't know that I had my uh, retreat point here. Killerfish is still struggling here. He's holding the line very nice, but it's a big struggle. Anarchy's forces are here, they're trying to fend off this orange fag. He's bringing in more conscripts. Did he build up anything else? How much resources do you have, you fag? Oh, you're joking me, right? This much fuel, this much manpower. Conscripts, mortars. That's it. You are pathetic. And then you are complaining that, oh, Axis are overpowered. What did you expect? You thought with a fucking blob of conscripts you can win? You thought wrong. Well, let's see what's going on here. Fashim Yegas. Pull back, pull back the Fashim Yegas. Pull them back. You won't be able to do anything. Come on, man. Pull back. Or oh, did you pour in a grenade yet? He can't. He doesn't have enough resources. Pull back. Finally. He lost his HQ. Mm. Now. Where's Orange Boy? Here he is. Calling in more conscripts. How fucking original. They're just mooring. And now here comes this guy. And now here comes Orange Boy. Thanks for the flaming buffer. My walking Stuka. I know that I'm gonna use the uh, walking Stuka on this to destroy whatever is there. Oh, Panther. This orange guy thinks he's so good with his conscripts, and now he should realize like how much he's so wrong, he's outdone, outnumbered, that's right, pull back, fucking orange fuck. Low level piece of shit. Whiner, come on, shoot the walking stuka, mate. That's right, good old me is shooting the, no shit, it's a nice game. It is fair, you fag. And that is gone. Finally moving with his units. Ooh. 
Ooh, Orange guy finally got something different than just fucking mortars and a fucking blob of conscripts. But no big deal, we were still winning the fight. This orange guy is such a fucking loser. <laughs> well, it seems we didn't reclaim their fuel. But I'm still surprised, this orange guy is such a fucking noob. Could have got Panzer IVs already, but no. Yeah, I missed that. <laughs> Here's that M10. Why would anyone get an M10? Shies it. What's this? Sherman! Oh. Yeah, for sure, so the German um, anti-tank rifle cannot do jack shit on the allied uh, armor, yet the allies can do it on us. Well, fucking up, fair. Yeah, pull back, assholes. What was this guy thinking? Orange guy, you're, you're seriously a fucking guy. Don't know why I called it artillery, but I did. And there's the Sherman. Fag Lloyd, you oh my god. Mm. Just fucking suicide, all right? I got a king tiger. And we won. Yep. So anyways, the American was kind of good. I did like him. He was aggressive against Killer Priest. The purple guy 
was good as well. But he didn't go... Oh my god. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, it did show that he was... Where is he? Is this the guy? Yeah, 37 now. So, he did much better than this shit face. Mortsune or whatever. Who says that, oh, Axis is still proud of me and this, that. Oh, fucking asshole. Well, let's check the stats. Oh, fucking asshole. Any stats? I think it should show it. Well, let's see. So, uh, what this guy did a lot better than this fag. I would still have to say that the American was the best of all of them. Oh my god, look at this. Perfect losses. Much, much better losses than these assholes. Well, besides Kilpers, who had a lot of losses. Because of the American and the Russian completely mooring him. Oh, this is my army value. Mine was the best. Well, well. Looky there. He had the worst army value. Let me see in, in terms of resources. Oh. They had a lot of resources and they didn't use it up. Bunch of facts. Well, anyways guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.